don't drop it in the water. Well, look, we have a pantry now. I'm gonna start disassembling the raw water. Old one is all corroded and messy. I'm gonna pump. Is the whole helm coming out together? Turns out the whole pod, like helm pod, actually has to come off. Pounding off lots of little projects, but it really feels like we're getting lots done because we're checking lots of things off the list. Well, the boat is a mess again, but that means there's more projects going on. So I'm running the other two wires for the solar panel, or for the other two solar panels for the other side. We decided to take them off of our Dodger here and move them over to our starboard side over in the stern, just like we have on the, the port side. So let's get these wires run. One of the previous owners thought a DC well, an AC receptacle connected to a DC battery was a good idea back here in the back cockpit. So I removed it, we never used it. I tested it at one point and found out that it was 12 volt rather than the standard AC. But anyway, we've got a big gaping hole that we're gonna have to fill at one point. So I'm just going to run the wires through there temporarily because on our other side, we have the wires just run through the deck as you can see here, uh, we have a bit of butyl around it to keep it watertight. We've tried a few different methods and, I mean, butyl seems to work, but as you can see, it's not the cleanest looking. But I don't really like drilling through the deck like that. clearing out this V-berth, or this quarter berth in the back here. We've had between our solar panels and our radar and all sorts of other junk. We're kind of really stoked to have it cleared back there for a change. We like to use tie wraps to secure ours to our lifelines. It seems to work pretty good. We also use a bit of, um, I think it's insulation for hot uh, hot pipes and housing for like the bottom edge because it kind of flops around a little bit and normally we also secure the bottom edge as well to like the tow rail. It just kind of works for us. Don't drop it in the water. I'll try not to. You never know though. Uh, I've got a towel on the outside of most of them. It reduces it down to like 0 0.02 amps or something, so I'm not too worried about that for making my connections and stuff. This is just a parallel connector. It puts two in parallel. So right now we have these two that are gonna be wired in parallel and the other two that will be in series and we'll do some testing between the two and just kind of find out what we like better. Also, these connectors are great because you can't mess it up. The negative always has a male to female and the opposite for the positive. Nice, easy. It's like we went from winter jacket to all of a sudden it's summer. But anyways, it's pretty good because I ended up staying inside the world most of the day trying to organize everything and create some space so that I can actually start storing food. Cheers! Well look, we have a pantry now. 
This used to be all tools and stuff. So I'm starting to pick up any cans when they're on sale so that I don't have to grab a bunch just before we leave. Because it's convenient right now we have the car. Although I just want to get rid of it. All right, time for an oil change. Let's start the engine, let it run for a bit, heat it up, and suck out some of that gnarly oil. While the engine was running, I noticed the engine was shaking and vibrating a lot more than usual. And I saw these leg bolts just kind of bouncing around and realized that they're basically just finger tight right now. <laughs> So instead of the whole thing vibrating on here, this whole block is actually jiggling around. So uh, I'm just gonna tighten all that up right quick and then start siphoning the oil out. So we gotta pull out the dipstick here. Hoo That's some black oil. Pretty regular, dark, but needs to be changed, but no water or anything from what I can tell or any other problems, but I'm no professional. Let's hook up our pump. Come on, baby. Get in your hole. All right, give it a try. I think we're at the bottom now. Oh, wow, that's coming quick. So you should only need like so many pumps. You can probably stop now or once, once it gets, like, yeah, there we go. It's doing its thing. You can pump a few more if you want it to go a little faster, but... So black, eh? Yeah. Pump harder! Why am I doing this? You I was cleaning over there. Do you want to go clean? You're doing a good job. I'm gonna start disassembling the raw water. Let's see how that goes over here. All right, this is our raw water pump way down here. So it looks like there's a little slide bolt here to loosen off the tension on our belt here. So let's try to loosen that off. I need a bigger wrench. All right, I think I figure it's easier to just remove these two bolts here and here and then I can get at the raw water pump easier. So let's see how that's gonna work. Ooh, that's a long bolt. And this one, is it shorter or the same length? Same length. All right, sweet. I got the pump, as you can see. I just disconnected the two hose clamps after removing the two bolts, and now I can work on it comfortably on my kitchen counter making it a lot easier to inspect things. So It's good to finally actually take a look at this thing. Oh wow, it's actually in really good shape. Cool. I wouldn't even change that. There's no fins broken. It rotates fine. Sweet. That's why I thought we didn't have to change it, but it was good to double check and make sure everything's good. Looks like we have no gasket though between the uh, metal bit and the outside, so I'm surprised it hasn't been leaking. We're just putting this back together. There's the socket. Yeah, that's what I need. Thank you. The pulley here, but I gotta push it back. And actually get it on the right spot there. There we go. Now I should be able to tighten everything. Our raw water sea strainer could use some cleaning. At least there's no fish or anything in here blocking it up completely, but it's pretty scummy. But at least the water was still passing through. But it's definitely due for a clean. So we gotta remove these two bolts to get at our thermostat. And then we're also gonna replace this little uh, lamp light for our heat warning light lamp in the cockpit.
as you may be able to tell, we have our new one here on the left, nice and shiny. And our old one is all corroded and messy, so we're going to swap that out. Apparently, you got to make sure to line up the hole with the, where the bolt is, so I'm going to make sure to do that. So I guess the liquid, or the water rather, passes through here and not gets doesn't get jammed by there, as well as I guess it won't seat properly. So let's get this done. So you might not be able to see this too well, but I've got quite a bit of crap on the rim here and we don't actually have a new gasket so I'm gonna have to use the old one for now and we're gonna get a new one but I want to remove some of this crap because and try to avoid it going inside there we go so as you can see we got the regular thermostat and the one for the light connected this is our old one this is where the wire connects to the end here to hook up to the light and as you can see it was snapped right off so I just gotta take that off connect it there and we're all ready to go I need something stronger than that I think woohoo all right we got the new filter in all tightened up and we're just putting in approximately two liters of oil into our engine then we'll check our levels listen to that baby purr a lot less vibration after tightening up those leg bolts Woohoo! captain alex there we go not, oh, oh, oh. Not when I go in. Not going. That looks good. Sometimes you have to adjust the choke. You might have to give it a little more for it to run better. Give it, just give it more choke when it starts to die. Just give it more choke. A little less. There you go. Find that sweet spot. You got this. I believe in you. update on our awesome dinghy floor it's actually still holding it hasn't broken and it's not moldy or snapping success it's beautiful i think the water is like almost 70 like 68 67 degrees and it's beautiful it cools you right off i'm cleaning the bottom of the boat right now of our dinghy It's hard to get the right pulling angle on it. Yeah. Is the whole helm coming out together? 
I thought we'd be able to take this cap off. The joys of boarding. We thought we'd only have to take off four bolts, lift the thing from the helm, and be able to rebuild the whole thing. Turns out the whole pod, like helm pod, actually has to come off. So Corey's working at it. And see what it's like. We finally managed to get the thing popped up. So now I'm trying to get all the old stuff out of it so that we can put some new things. This is like a bunch of water coming in through there. So this weekend's been really nice. Uh, we've been just pounding off lots of little projects, mostly not none worth filming really because there's just some loose ends that we're tying together, but it really feels like we're getting lots done because we're checking lots of things off the list that were either half finished or just needed a few things to tidy up. So it just feels awesome to be finishing so many different projects and really feeling like the boat is a boat again and not just a work zone that's always messy and just frustrating to find things because everything's not tucked away in the, the spot it should be. But Alex has spent all yesterday and today cleaning up everything and it's really coming together. We finally have a pantry now which is awesome. We spent way too much time trying to get those bolts back in the plate that's under the like underneath the helm from the inside is attached to all the steering assembly which since the bolts weren't really holding it anymore except just a couple the whole thing shifted so it was really really hard to get the bolt through the holes but we finally did it so right now we're just kind of tightening the nuts and washers and then everything should be good and we're gonna clean up the butyl tape <laughs> 